I'm just moving yarn around. Hi, hello, hello, hello. Ooh. Got yarn on the show that shouldn't be on the show. I'm nearly there, I'm nearly sorted. Hello, Rosie in Scotland. Okay, it's safe. I had yarn, I had yarn going on that, um, that, <laughs> that hasn't been released yet. It's okay, we're all right now. I think I've got the situation under control. You can see my, um, my yarn wall's been decimated a little bit. Hello, everybody waving at me. Uh, so I'll, I'll just pull some of those forward a little. It's, I've still got yarn. I don't think I'm going to. Uh, I don't think I'm going to run out anytime soon. Right, actually, I'm going to try and be. Oh no! I was about to say I'm going to try and be plastic bag free this week, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, oh, lots of people joining. Hello, everyone. Um, it's been a while, hasn't it? What time are we on? Is it time to start? I did say five o'clock and I think I was a little bit late um, setting myself up. Uh, right, where am I up to? It's, um, oh, I'm gonna move that over there so I don't forget, hang on. So, it's been three weeks, I think, since my last Instagram Live. Um, it's been a busy few weeks. I was in France doing our textiles retreat. Um, what else have I been doing? I then came back and had to kind of get back on top of my work, which felt busy. And then, yeah, it just seems to be kind of, I, I've got, I don't know, non-stop at the moment. So I don't know how to make that. Right, okay, we're all right. I'll just keep going. And if I see something happen, then I'll, you know, respond accordingly. So in the interim, I think I just cast on my um, Barbie crop. Uh, when I went to when I was uh, I was telling you about it, so it's now it's now finished. So this is my Barbie crop. This is by um, a designer called Knitting Rune My Life, and um, it's just the colour work jumper of my dreams. Um, I absolutely love it. Uh, so I've used for this my Barbie Brights mini skein set, which is basically lots of um, bright colours and, uh, and, and neon. Um, and believe it or not, I didn't actually have a jumper in this colour up until now. So um, I would have put it on for you, but for some reason I've put on a dress with massive puffy sleeves. So that's not happening. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's a little short sleeved cropped jumper with a round yoke and this fabulous colour work. And for those who, um, don't like colour work or don't want to do three colours, you can do um, duplicate stitch. So that's good. It's very quiet out there today. Is anyone going to say anything to me? You've, you've waved. Oh, hi, Gem. Uh, you're here in time today. Don't go anywhere, please, Gem. Right, so where am I up to? So that's my, that's my Barbie crop. So I think that the pattern is being released on the 21st of July, um, which is the same day as the Barbie film. So it, it kind of, it fits in quite nicely. Uh, so that's, that's my Barbie crop. I have gone a bit Barbie mad, haven't I, this, with all my various Barbie colorways. So that's my Barbie crop. And then I wanted to show you, yeah, it is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it is very me. Thank you everyone now for commenting. I was feeling a bit unloved felt very quiet I, I mean when I'm sat here it really does feel like I'm talking to myself so it's nice to just get a bit of interaction thank you uh, I was saying to my my studio neighbors earlier that um, I think one of them's playing having a, a glass to the wall between us <laughs> I would say I was doing my Instagram live he was saying well he was going to listen in but um, I also suggested I was going to do a bit of a roaming tour of the studio spaces but I don't think that went down too well with some of the other studio occupants so Maybe another day, maybe they'll be up for it. Um, then, so I finished my Barbie crop and then I um, did something really strange. Um, not to distract, but I'd love to know where. Yeah, these toadstool earrings are from Hollyhocks Jewellery. So she now has her own website. So it's Hollyhocks Jewellery and she's UK based. 
So this is the um, sprinkle sweater. And yeah, I, um, I dug out, um, after finishing my Barbie crop, I had one of those moments of, I'm going to dig out knitting. So this was um, unearthed when we cleared out some shelves and took some, swapped a bit of furniture around. And I cast this on last year and don't quite know what happened why I didn't finish it but um, basically it's knitted on size 12 millimeter needles I sized down to 10 because 10 millimeter um, because I do knit really loosely uh, so it's alternating stripes of a chunky yarn and um, and a mohair now I've actually held my um, kids silk mohair lace triple to to get that kind of nice effect that sits quite well there then with the with the chunky yarn so this colourway, so I've got, I've got um, Barbie, my Barbie pink, and then I've got um, a pick and mix colourway is the chunky. And um, it really, it, so that took, um, I would say, probably about a full skein of the, um, because I was using odds and ends, it's hard to gauge it really, but it took about a full skein of the, which is 400 metres or 50 grams of the mohair and the um, chunky was two skeins so i think yeah yeah it was because i dyed three and then i did yarn chicken at the end and there was only um there was only what's the word i'm looking for i had about that much left on the cuff so i was really pleased with with how it worked out um i'm bringing this one with me to norway and heidi because it's um it is it's a nice fluffy comfy throw on so I'm really pleased with it who's the designer the designer is Treen Bendix is her name I can't think of her Instagram ID um, but yeah the um, it is it's it's called sprinkle sweater so if you if you look at the hashtag sprinkle sweater you should see it has anybody else gone on threads today I kind of did that thing of no there can't really be another social media app but and I don't like Twitter and I don't like um, what's the other one called TikTok <laughs> so why do they all begin with T um, but I thought well maybe I should go on to this one and particularly because I know you can't you can't go on it can you in, in Europe you can't go on it I'm, a, I'm aware of this and you can't in Norway um, I just found it, um, I thought I'd better go on it because when you're running a business and you're doing a lot of social media type stuff, you think, well, I better not be last to jump on that train because I really was very late with TikTok and then went on TikTok and really hated it, so came off again. Um, but, um, <laughs> hi Lisa, the original ginger cat is here. Um, this is Lisa who designed um, my wall mural, which is outside. I might take you to see that actually, I might open the door and take you to see the mural because it is fabulous um, and we've really kind of made some progress with painting it now. Um, so yeah, I went on threads, I've joined it because it, I mean, basically Facebook and Instagram own all of my data anyway, it would appear. Um, <laughs> so someone else hasn't gone, you see I don't use Twitter, um, hi Audrey. I don't use Twitter, I don't like it, it makes me feel overstimulated, that's the same with TikTok. So I've gone on to threads, let's see what happens. Fortunately, everything that I already have on Instagram could just be automatically migrated, um, don't know what will happen with that. So if you're on threads and you want to follow me on threads, I'm the discreet unicorn. Uh, if not, then everything will remain exactly the same over here on Instagram um, and everything that goes on to threads will be identical to what's on here. I'm not doing two different lots of stuff for social media because um, that's exhausting and you know I like knitting and weaving and dyeing so these are the things I want to do not messing about on my phone so yeah so that's a nice airy jumper I'm quite pleased with that like I say sprinkle sweater it's a lovely easy pattern really enjoyed that I'm actually thinking of recreating it on my knitting machine as well so yeah we'll see what happens there uh, right, what else was I going to tell you about? Um, yeah, I need to tell you about this. So, this is the prototype for our yarn cage, which now is going to be called the Yarnis. 
So this was, um, I'm developing this in collaboration with, um, with Pippa from the Wolf Workshop. If you want to have a little bit more of a nosy, just go back to um, a couple of posts back on my feed, there's a photograph of this. Um, but that is the first iteration um, and we, well, we're developing ideas together specifically to make it a lot more unicorn centric. So I'm not trying to compete with any manufacturers in the market in terms of making a product that's identical to ones that are already on offer. It needs to be right for my business. Um, so yeah, that's, that's currently in development. But I think the biggie really is that um, Pippa, uh, what's the teal and pink above me please? Uh, that's fairy footsteps. <laughs> uh, hi Jane. Uh, yeah, so we are looking at making it a lot more fitting in with my brand. So think pink, hearts, um, that kind of thing. So it's, it's not, we're definitely not aiming to create a copy of something that's already on the market. Although having said that, there are lots of people making these in their own individual way. Um, so that's, that's that. So um, Slate, who I think is on here, but may not still be on here, not sure if she is. So she suggested yesterday it needs to be called the Yarnis. And um, Pippa, who's actually doing the manufacturing, um, is all over that name. So that's what it's going to be called. So that's that. What else have I got to tell you about? You know, do you know yesterday I thought I really need to do an Instagram Live. I haven't, got one, I haven't done one for three weeks. And then I realised that actually um, I, I haven't got anything to talk about. And then when I actually sat and thought about it, I realised I, I do actually have loads to talk about. So um, yeah, if, you, if, you, if you're only just joining, I will be uploading this onto YouTube and it will also be on my feed later on if you wanted to watch it from the beginning, so it'll be on my Instagram feed. Um, another exciting product related thing is is this little thing here um this is, <laughs> i'm such a quirky woman what an outfit yeah I, I do wonder if uh yeah if i'm a bit old for um barbie pink dresses but you know what my shoes are the same i kind of feel like maybe i shouldn't be sticking my feet on the internet but there we go i've got big pink bows on my feet so yeah this is um my fabric i wove this on my baby loom hattie so project bags watch this space so this is this is happening um, and it's really exciting so handmade project bags oh, i like that you're never too old to wear pink i mean i wasn't sure if it was like the poem you know when i I'm, when i'm old i'll wear purple we were talking about that a few weeks ago um but um no I suppose this is the point really with my business. I do what I want and I wear what I want. So, uh, yeah, anyway, it sits up nicely and um, it's got a flat bottom and it has a really nice deep pocket inside. So you would, lose my arm in there. So you would actually, um, you, would, you would be able to fit a crochet hook, tape measure, things like that in there. But I'm really thrilled because this looks like it is going to happen. So I haven't made this. This has been made by a lovely, lovely lady. And it looks like we're going to be going ahead with that for project bags for going on my website, which is incredibly exciting because the idea of a product being completely handmade that I've made and has been made by another maker is, is really exciting. So this is just the prototype again. Um, and we're you know, I'll, I'll keep you posted of developments. Um, so, so that's that. I spoke to you about, um, oh, I designed a shawl, didn't I? Designed a crochet shawl. So it's going in the advent calendar. Um, those who are, have um, bought the advent calendar will get it for free. Um, and then I'll release the pattern for sale after Christmas so that if you decide you like it, um, and I'm just looking behind me and realising how um, bare my yarn wall looks. Thank you to everyone that bought, bought yarn in my sale. Um, but I did want to show you the shawl because this is a, a currently um, something that I've been obsessing over is my, my neon flash yarns. 
So I crocheted them up um, and I've crocheted that two rows of the neon flash and then two rows of silver. Um, but it, it just kind of, I don't usually do crocheting, but um, and I'll, I'll probably show you, do I have a special unicorn label for all your new products? That's a good question. There will be. <laughs> I realise these are the things that are important. Yes, there will be unicorn labels. Um, I, I had the mind-boggling moment earlier of talking to, uh, when I was talking to Pippa about the, the little yarn cage. Um, she, will, she can make leather tags from my um, let the tags from my logo, from my actual logo. Um, so who knew that, you know, 10 meters away from my studio door was another maker who could make those for me. So that's very exciting. It involves 3D printing and computers and things and I don't really know how all that works. Right, so that's the shawl. So I've got quite, I've got some little packs of mini skeins of these. So I'm, I'm very into this at the moment, but I also wanted to show you this sample which has been knitted for me by the lovely Gem. And it's, um, she's made me a um, Marled Mania by Stephen West or West Knits. So she's knitted me a Marled Mania cardigan and she has actually faded all of the colors into each other. Um, now again, it's got it's got nice slim sleeves, which is one of the things I like about it. But again, that's not going over the big puff sleeve dress, not to worry. Uh, but yeah, so I, I asked her if she would knit it for me. And it's, um, it's got contrast cuffs as well. So it's got a, a green cuff and no, that was purple, wasn't it? <laughs> so it's got a green cuff. No, that's still purple. <laughs> oh dear. The, um, the guys in the studio next door gave me coffee about half an hour ago. So here I am being manic on, on my Instagram live and uh, definitely won't be able to sleep. Purple cuff. Green cuff. And then the bottom cuff is orange. So this is just marvelous. Um, I haven't got round to photographing it yet, but I am incredibly grateful, Gem, for you taking the time to knit things for me. And I haven't forgotten about the wrap. So just so you know. Um, so that's that. That's a really lovely, yeah, I, um, I like having shop samples because obviously they're not really shop samples. They're things that I'll wander about the world in. Um, and this is the, the thing for me as a knitter I'm, or a dyer. Um, I'm making the things I want to wear rather than just making stuff that I think will sell. And I don't think anybody really knows what will sell anyway, do they? So, right, how are we doing for time? I feel like I'm a lot of talking. Um, I think the other thing I was going to show you, I might actually say for next week, and I think I'll do a next week one. Did you want to see my mural? Shall I show you the mural outside? Um, it's, I've got, it took me, I was a bit later setting up today because um, I've got you on a selfie stick that's portable rather than the other one because if I wanted to go wandering. But firstly, I need to show you my window, which hasn't got its glass in yet, but does open, which is very exciting. So thank you, ooh, sorry, thank you to everyone that shopped in my sale. So there's my window. It's got a board in it at the moment. It's waiting for its glass. Um, but it was absolutely amazing earlier because I could, um, I could tootle about and I had the air flowing through, it was quite warm and it was really, really lovely. I miss the stripe jumper, I was making dinner. Okay, so the stripe jumper, oh, stripe jumper, yeah, oh well, maybe you can watch it again later. I'll be putting it on my Instagram and my YouTube. Right, so where am I going? I'm going out here to show you the mural. I think Lisa, who designed it, is actually on the um, doing the Annika Rice thing again, aren't I? Kind of wandering about with a camera shaking. So that's that's my pink sparkly door. So you can just see that. Can I do a thing where I can see both or not? I'm not very into this kind of. Um, and then this is that's my mural. So I've not actually finished painting it yet. Shall I take you to say hello to Pippa as well? Do you want to meet Pippa who's doing the 
I'll, I'll take you and meet Pippa and then we'll tootle back and then we'll, we'll sign off. So this is kind of the mill corridor. That my, so my door's on the... No, it doesn't work like that, does it? So that's my, my door there. And then, so I'm going the opposite way down. I hope Pippa isn't busy, but we'll go and see her anyway. You can see how close she is. Bye. We've come to say hello to the Queen of Leather Making. Is it safe? It is, but my studio is a complete bombsite. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> when I say bombsite, I mean like we are undoubtedly bombsite. So here we go. This, this is this is Pippa. Hello. Say hello. Hi. Yeah. I just thought <laughs> I, I wish you could smell how leathery it is in here. But yeah. Yeah. It's so, a strange description, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like I put my um my fragrance burner on earlier, yeah. ready for my Instagram live. Oh yeah, you gotta do that. Yeah. Gotta, like, I hope you all get yeah. The embrace the chaos. We've 4D, been told. Yeah. 4D. Yeah. Four D. It's all very real. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice to see you. It's nice to see, see you later. Too. Oh, she's making straps. She's make. Do you want to see what she's doing? So here we go. Here you go. Sneak peek. The... Oh, the heart! Yes. So these are going Can to be. Can you see little... that there? So if you've seen Miriam's post yesterday about well, what we were I've doing, I've just been talking about it. Okay. Alive. Well, yeah. we have the little harness straps. So we're going to be doing some really cute ones. Um, that are going to have. They're going to look kind of like this. Little hearts in the middle. So they're going to be like wrapped around like a yeah, like the ball thing. So. Yep. Yeah, we're working on some... And every uh, single one's going to be pink, isn't it? Oh, yeah, and green. And I've got this one that's multicoloured that I'm Excellent. trying out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, multicoloured. Like the sound of that. <laughs> right, I'm going to go back. <laughs> right, I'm headed back to my studio. I, this is... I, I always feel quite kind of conscious when I just wander off and, um, and leave the door unlocked. Just, you know, who's going to steal wool? Right, so another quick flash of the... Um, Ulla and Ryan have got their screen up, so I won't, uh, I won't go and disturb them. Right. The green, the green leather's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, so that was nice to just go and kind of see somewhere else. Um, yeah, so she's doing a multicoloured one as well, which is exciting. Uh, right, so I feel like I've absolutely talked myself to death, never mind anybody who's still, you know, managed to carry on watching. So thank you to everyone who joined in. Um, I'll probably see you next week because I think that... Um, yes, I'll see you next week. So, yeah, and I'll give you an update on where I'm up to with everything. Okay, bye for now. Bye.